Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back to a ramble session on a Monday. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you had a great week and a great weekend. Uh, if you're in the U.S., I hope you had a very happy Thanksgiving. And if it wasn't so happy, because, you know, sometimes holidays just aren't happy for people, um, you know, my heart goes out to you and you're in my thoughts and prayers. So we had um, a lovely Thanksgiving. Uh, my, our kids came up here for, let's see, they came up on Wednesday afternoon and then they were here until Sunday. So that was really, really nice. Really nice. Um, yeah, we just had a great time. We had a great time together and... I love it when my kids come up here. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so today's video is going to be stuffing the journal that I might or might not ever write in. I don't know. I mean, we're obviously, we're heading toward the end of the month. What is today? The 27th. Okay, so yeah, heading toward the end of the month. I have not even made a journal for December. And quite honestly, at this point, I don't know if I'm going to. Um, yeah, I know, shock. Folks, I got to be honest with you. I'm running out of gas, okay? <laughs> I'm just out of gas. I don't know. It's, um, I don't, uh, it, you know, I always want to be honest with you guys. Um, you know, it, it's been difficult. Needless to say, it's been difficult. Um, yeah, just the struggle with health issues and, and all of that, um, I just have no desire whatsoever to come in here um, and work on anything. And yeah, so plus there are some other things going on, you know, as well in the in the background. Like I know if you've been on this channel, you know, you know, for a while. Um, thank you for continuing to come back. If you're new here, welcome. Um, but we are going to be putting our house up for sale here shortly. Um, prop maybe in January. I'm not sure. So yeah. Um, like the biggest room in our house, not the, like not size wise, but the biggest amount of work in our house that needs to be done as far as packing goes is you guessed it, my craft room. Okay. <laughs> um, when we moved a couple years ago, uh, what well, was whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It was like a couple years ago when we moved. Um, or was it just last year? I cannot even remember. Yeah. It was like last summer. So, I mean, we've owned the, the house that we're in, we've owned for a couple years, but we moved permanently. Um, yeah, last summer and, We've just, you know, the skinny on that whole thing is like, you know, because you guys are like, probably like, Elizabeth, why are you moving again so soon? It, there are a lot of different factors involved. So, uh, yeah, we've, one of them being that our home, current home right now is not, is it's just not large enough, you know, um, because our kids don't live in the area, right? And so they come to visit and we just don't have the space for all four of them, you know, because my son is married and so he and his wife, you know, come obviously. And then my daughter and her boyfriend usually come, you know, he usually comes with her. And so we've got four, you know, four people to, um, you know, have sleeping quarters for all that. Anyway, it's just not working anymore. So we are in search of a home that's bigger, but then we're in, you know, another tight spot because we want it big enough so that our kids can come and visit. But then now they're talking of possibly moving up here. So it's like, okay, what, you know, are we going to put ourselves back in the same position of having a larger house? And then, you know, our we don't need it anymore. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just a very confusing time. So we're praying about it and, you know, we'll figure it out. But anyway, um, yeah. So speaking of moving though, I really need to start packing up my craft room at some point. And so 
I'm thinking like, I don't even know if I'm going to make a December journal because quite literally October was the only journal that I actually worked in. Okay. I don't, why I'm sitting here just talking to you while you're staring at nothing is beyond me. I do have a happy mail to share with you from um, a sweet friend on Instagram. So I will show you that in a moment. Um, and this, like most of this stuff you saw last week, right? Like the Monopoly game. Oh my word. The Monopoly game that I purchased at, uh, whatchamacallit, the Dollar Tree. Yeah, still on my desk. Okay, still on my desk. Oh my gosh. Prayer cards, still on my desk. Um, yeah. Journals, still on my desk. I mean, all this stuff just like needs to be put away. And well, not only that, I need to pack. And in order to pack, I need to have boxes, which we do not have. And so, yeah, all of my journals need to be packed away. Everything in my bookshelves can be packed away. Like I don't, um, yeah, I don't need and I won't need, you know, until we actually move and unpack and all that jazz. I literally do not need anything that is uh, on or in my um, cupboards, you know, like my bookshelves or whatever. Everything, just about everything can be packed away. I might, what I might end up doing is packing like uh, a travel bag like I used to when we go like down to the keys for the weekend, I might end up using one of those and just putting some stuff in there. And yeah, just if I, you know, if it strikes my fancy to journal anything, then maybe I will. But in all honesty, uh, I might end up taking just a break until things calm down. Um, until may possibly we move. I I'm just not really sure. Uh, so I'm really sorry about that. I, uh, yeah, it's, it's just, I don't have it in me right now. And I mean, health wise, I am doing, I am doing okay. If you, you know, if, if again, if you're new here, um, I got cancer. So yeah, dealing with that. And, uh, in fact, I go to the oncologist this, both my oncologist this week. Um, we're going to try another medication. I'm not sure. Um, you know, yeah, um, my body is just not having medication, okay? It's just like, no, Elizabeth, I'm sorry. We're just going to give you this really painful rash instead. So, yeah, it's just, ugh. anyway, let's get on with this, okay? Let's get on with this. This is my husband's T THC card, whatever it is. It has this beautiful picture on him, so I'm going to put that in my book um, to save it this so let's just get out the journal here shall we all these things need to go into the journal now this i'm gonna put a funny where where is this from oh it's from walgreens okay it's from walgreens um they sent us a warmest wishes card uh that's another thing answer me in the comments do you guys still send out christmas cards and have you or christmas and or you know the infamous christmas letter which is what i normally do do you guys send them out? And if so, have you done it already? Or are you in the midst of doing it? Honestly, I'm on the fence about it. I don't know if I'm going to do it at all, quite honestly. My husband's like, oh, let's just get some box cards, you know. I don't like that. Uh, I mean, I like receiving box cards, don't get me wrong. But for me to send a, I've always sent a letter, always. Um, you know, just outlining all the different things that have gone on in the year. And we've had some really great things happen this year. You know, we've had some really great things like my son getting married, you know, and us now having a new daughter and it's been wonderful. And, you know, so I don't know, I'm on the fence about it, but let me know if you guys send out a letter or Christmas cards. And also, I just feel like over the years, it's dwindled, 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 you know, now, like, we might get a dozen cards, perhaps. Um, whereas before, I would literally send out like years ago, I would send out at least 100 letters. Um, and now I, I might send out, I don't know, 30, if maybe, I don't know. So 
there's that. But this I'm gonna, I am gonna save and put in my Christmas stuff because if I ever make a Christmas journal, which, you know, quite honestly is in, it, it, I really want to, I don't know. I guess I really want to regroup, you know? I want to regroup after this year that we've had. Um, and hopefully when we move and get situated and sorted and all of that stuff, um, my room, hopefully my craft room will be bigger and um, I'll have just more room to breathe. Uh, uh, and I, because I really want to start making journals, like possibly selling them. I'm not really sure, but I have like, I have books, like uh, the covers, you know, of a journal. I have them made already. They just need to have signatures put in and ephemera put in and I'm good to go, you know, and, and I just haven't done it, you know, so I really want to do that. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you think, you know, but it's going to take me a couple months to, to get situated and settled and figure out what the heck I'm doing with my life. You know what I mean? So anyway, this is going to go in the Christmas card pile. Um, and trust me, I have like, I've literally, well, I've done nothing in this journal. This is my November journal. It is made out of, um, well, this is made out of an envelope, a white mailing envelope that I just collaged and then painted. I ended up painting the inside of it. And then I put my, these acorns, uh, for my dates. And you can find these down below in the description box. It's a free printable. So go ahead and help yourself to that. I have not, I have not even written in this thing. And some of you might think, Oh, Elizabeth, um, that's such a waste of paper, but you know what? To me, it's not. I don't know. Let me know what you think. <laughs> um, it's not a waste of paper because I know that during this season of my life, um, it was difficult. Let me get you in frame. Jeez, Elizabeth. See, it's like I can't even film a video properly. Anyway, um, yeah, I will always know that in this season of my life, it, it, the, you know, it was rough going, you know what I mean? And so, um, yeah, it's just the, it, it, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Um, and again, I just, I have no desire to come in here, um, and do, you know, do this. And I'm a sucker for an HGTV, um, you know, a good, Renault project, you know, and then like before I know it, I'm like, I'm thinking, okay, I'm just going to sit here and watch this half hour show. And then five shows later, I'm like, what am I doing with my life? Okay. That that's my life right now. So, um, anyway, this, so I want to put all of these things in here. Let's see. I know for a fact, let's just go backwards. Shall we? My son had one of these, he likes iced coffee. So I made him one of these let me just think when, okay, this was Thanksgiving. Okay. So it was Thanksgiving morning that I made it for him. I'm sure. Yeah. Because they got in on this day here. So that goes there. Okay. And then I know that, let me see Sunday they left. So Saturday is when I went out with the kids. Okay, so Saturday is this day. I went out with the kids. My daughter got these beautiful um, sunglasses. I really want to take this off, though. I don't like that on there. So, may I don't know. Maybe I'll use the bag. She, it was actually kind of funny. She got a... Um, oh. She got... It, it was a home decor place. Super expensive stuff. So I don't know if I'll put this in here like this and just put like a journaling card in here or what. I don't know. Cut these things off. It's such a cute bag. Like, I don't know. We're just going to shove it in here. Okay. Uh, on this day, we also went to this really cute um, coffee house. It was so cute. And it has an art gallery in it. And they do... It's in like a few towns up from where we are. But they do 
special events. They do art days. They, you know, it was so cool. And then like my mom, or not my mom, my daughter, um, my daughter said, oh, mom, you know, look at these things. It reminds me of things that you make. And it was like, um, Tim Holtz people, you know, on, it was like a mixed media art piece, you know, but yeah, she was like, oh, mom, you should make journals and sell them here. And I'm like, I don't know about that. Then we went to this restaurant, which was super, super good. It was super good. And I even had stuff that like, that I never eat. I, and probably would never eat. Like my daughter got, look at that beauty. I love sugar skulls. Look at that. Oh, so beautiful. Good grief. Again, this is like not right where we live. But anyway, I was out and about. My husband was feeling bad. So I was out and about with the kiddos and we had a glorious time together. Just so fun and so funny. And I love them. Um, anyway, so this was a really nice place to go. And my daughter got, it was octopus ceviche. I'm not a fan of ceviche, never have been. Um, but it was okay. You know, she was like, Oh mom, try it, try it. Uh, they always get me to try the weirdest things, you know, sorry, but I don't try weird things. I'm like such a vanilla kind of person when it comes to eating. Yeah. Okay. So here's Thanksgiving. And then I had some other things in here too. I love this right here. My husband says this all the time and my husband is absolutely gorgeous. But let me tell you, I'm not sad about, uh, Matthew McConaughey on this you know, meme. All right. And it says, best thing you could probably do as a father is make sure they see how much you love their mother. My husband has always said this to our children. And I love that about him. I absolutely love that about him. So I don't know where this is going to go. I have to look this up on my phone to figure out when I did it. Okay. Then when the kids were here, my husband was watching football and stuff. And so we did play on Saturday night, I think. We played Trouble and Scatter Gories, and that was a lot of fun. And then I think it might have been Wednesday night. Yeah, when they got here Wednesday night, we played Tapple, which I've never played before. It's kind of like Scatter Gories. You have like a, a game card and there's a timer here in the middle and all these letters that you press down. So like, this one says pizza toppings. And so someone, like if it's your turn, you press, you would press whatever letter your word that you're thinking of begins with. Um, so like pizza toppings and they have mozzarella here. So you'd press mozzarella, say mozzarella, and then click the timer for the next person. It's super fun. I've never even heard of it. And then this one was cute. It's called You're Getting Old. <laughs> So you have the, the scorecards here. I know it's hard to see because it's really small. But um, this was a lot of fun. You have a little avocado for your game pieces. And it just asks you questions, you know, like, I don't even know. Just questions. And if you, like, do you remember having a rotary phone? You know, type like that. And then if you say yes, then you're old. So you move your, your little avocado up one. And then... Then it'll have a redemption one, like a re you can redeem yourself from being old, I guess, if you answer the next question, no, you know? So anyway, it's a fun game. And I love that my kids enjoy board games. I love that. We used to play board games once a week, at least at home. And I really just like that apparently it left an impression on them because they really enjoy playing board games and they play with their friends and you know they the four of them get together and play and yeah so that's super cool this day here I think as well or was it the day before I'm not really sure could have been this day this is hand quilting the top it's old and it came off the spool but it's hand quilting thread and there are quilts that the kids use downstairs when they stay over and they were they needed mending, so I did that on one day. Um, and then here are the rest of my things that I need to put in. So <laughs> I love this one. And if you're wondering where I get these from, I get them mostly from Instagram. If I'm scrolling Instagram, which I have been doing way too often, it is, it is what it is, guys. 
but um, and I see one of these, then I just take a screenshot of it, crop it, and print it out later. So that's where I got um, Matthew and other ones, and I love using them throughout my book. Number one, they take up space, right? If I don't have a lot to write about, and I just, I just love them. So I still don't know what I'm wearing to the living room New Year's Eve. I might not even go. Oh my gosh, that cracked me up. And so yeah, that is flipping hilarious, okay? Flipping hilarious. So let me see. Um, I think, yeah, on Black Friday, which I don't even leave the house, we did not leave the house. So I'm gonna probably just put that there. I love people that have no idea how wonderful they are, just wander around making the world a better place. And that would be my kiddos. So that's gonna go back here. I love that. And this Wednesday night, we had homemade pizza. My husband made that, yes, with homemade crust. And it was probably the best pizza he's ever made. Yes, oh my goodness. I even have it leftover, which I'm not a fan of, but it was super, super good. And then this is about like, when your children ask you what you want for Christmas, um, and it's talking about, I, I just want you to keep coming around, you know, like you don't need to buy me anything. I don't need anything materialistic. All I want is you. That's it. Right. And so I love that. Um, this, I also have to figure out where, what day I did that. And then one day when my children are grown, I hope they still come over through the front door without knocking. I hope they head to the kitchen for a snap snack and slump on the sofa to watch TV. I hope they come in and feel the weight of adulthood leave them for they are home. For my children, my door will forever be open. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I don't know. This might go on that day too because that's the day that they arrived. Okay. And now we have pictures which I need to cut um, so I can put them. Excuse the reach. So I can put them in here. Okay. So this is, oh, look at my pupper, okay? This was the day the kids left, which they left on Sunday. And I don't know, can you tell that eyeball? He's side-eyeing me. He was a little depressed this day. Yeah, he was a little sad. And so was I. <laughs> so was I. So yeah, not not thrilled that they left, but you know, they have to go home because they have to work. Uh, so puppy, sad puppy. We had a sad puppy day on Sunday. So that goes back here. Saturday, Sunday. So sad puppy. And then this, of course, is Thanksgiving. So this goes on this day. This was what we had. My husband made it all with exception to the sweet potato casserole. So he made his homemade rolls, which is the same dough that he uses to make uh, the pizza, the pizza dough. Everything is very brown and very um, stuffing topping like, you know, <laughs> but we just, you, we don't, I, let me think. I've made a turkey, a whole turkey once in the 30 some years we've been together. Um, hmm. Otherwise, all of us like breast meat. So we just get a turkey breast because Thanksgiving is the only time that we eat turkey in our house, you know? So, and I don't want to eat it and eat it and eat it for like a month, you know? Anyway, we also had green bean casserole. We had squash casserole. What else? What is this? Oh, and stuffing. Okay, so one of these is stuffing. This is stuffing. This is green bean casserole. This is um, squash casserole, yellow summer squash casserole. And my daughter made... Um, a sweet potato casserole and of course my husband's lovely and delicious homemade mashed potatoes and rolls yes and it was very good oh and we didn't have the gravy on here because it was on the table anyway so that goes there this is my beautiful family yes oh that's not our boat that's the neighbor but we were just all hanging out or no, the kids were hanging out on the dock and then they wanted a picture of all of us out on the dock. So there's that. And then this right here was the Cool Beans place that we went to to get some coffee, which was very nice. 
with my kiddos. So there's all of us with our drinks. And there, there we are. And there's me. There's me. If you haven't seen me or you wondered what I look like, that, that would be me. <laughs> so, there's that. Let me excuse the reach. Okay, so this we went on Saturday. We went there. Okay, so there, that's filled. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, Elizabeth, why don't, after you're filming, why don't you just sit in here and figure your figure your life out, right? Ugh, I, hmm. I don't know. The answer to that is I don't know why, okay? I don't know why. So, there is that. Oh, no, we have the twinings. When did I have... That's another thing too. Like I'll come in here and just throw stuff on my desk and then I'm like, hmm, when did I have this? My husband makes me the, it was probably, I'll say Tuesday night. Yeah, it was probably Tuesday night. He asks me almost every night, would you like some tea, honey? Cause he makes my tea. Now he knows he's, he's learned to make it to perfection. So yeah, with my cream and my sugar and oh, it's so good. So, so stinking good. So there's that, and I might come in here and fill it out. I might not, um, but like I said, if if I don't end up filling it out, okay, it's not gonna be the end of the world. It just, I will know that this was a time in my life where things just were crazy, you know? I That's just all there is to it, and um, I don't know, I don't even know if I could go a month without having a journal, even just like physically having a journal, whether I work in it or not. I don't know, I don't know. But, and I'm not gonna lie either, I've been a bit discouraged, you know? I've been a bit discouraged on just having these blank, you know, um, journals. At the same time, I try to give myself grace um, but yeah, you know, there, I, that's not to say that, you know, that I don't get discouraged that I haven't written in them or I'm no, not keeping, you know, notes or no, I am keeping notes. Scratch that. See, I have all of my notes are in here, like, and especially back here, you know, like when things really started getting crazy, I do keep notes. I just haven't transferred them into this book um, as of yet. So yeah, um, it is what it is, you know, it is what it is and I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, and like I said, I might end up needing to just take a break, taking a step away from everything crafty wise right now. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm just not really sure. I'm on the fence about it. And again, we should probably, hopefully Lord willing be moving in a couple of months. So yeah, I've got to get stuff packed up and I'm just not going to have, you know, everything to work with. I don't know. This book here I just took out because I did want to get some of these cute pictures. Like I've tried everything guys. Let me, oh, that's a creepy baby. Um, yeah, I, this is an old, old book that I, I don't know, I found at a thrift store or something, but it does have some, like, look at that. It does have beautiful, you know, pictures in it. Um, I wonder, hmm, it appears as though this might be string bound. I'm not sure. Anyway, yep, it is. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Um, yeah. So the, these would actually make perfect pages for <laughs> for a journal. And especially these right here, you know, they would make really good pages for a journal. So anyway, yeah, I'm, I, I have a lot of stuff. What was that? <laughs> when Dick was late, must be like Dick and Jane or something. Um, but like, I love these for you know, even index card, whatever, you know, like I have a lot of different ideas swirling in my brain, but it's just getting my brain to 
make my hands work? I don't know. I don't know, guys. Um, I just don't know. All I know is I'm tired. I'm out of gas. And uh, we have a lot of stuff coming up. Um, eat well, whether it's health-wise or whether it's just, you know, moving and, and gathering our, our crap. You know what I mean? So... I'm not sure what's going to happen. I might be absent for a couple of months. I'm not really sure. Uh, although I can't really see myself missing a Monday. So yeah, even this is coming out late. But anyway, I did want to share with you this. This is called Olive and Cocoa. I have no idea if I ordered the catalog or if it just started coming. I'm not really sure. It's oliveandcoco.com. Okay, oliveandcoco.com. But look at these beautiful images, okay? And it's apparently like a food, you know, like a order, a food catalog, right? But this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Um, this, like I would, fuss, I would so fussy cut that out, you know, this little sleigh here, maybe even this pillow, yeah. So I'm definitely going to save this. I don't know when I'm going to fussy cut it because that's another thing. Like I've, I have all these things swirling in my brain, things that I want to do that I think I want to do like fussy cutting or, you know, cutting pictures out of the hardback book that I just showed you or making index cards or, um, doing some painting or doing some drawing or doing, you know, whatever. And I'm just not in the mood, you know, like they sound great. They sound like something I really want to do. But then when I, when I come in here, I just, I'm at a loss. So I don't know. I'm just going through, going through a thing, you know, and I'll get over it. I will get over it. I know I will, but when, when that's going to happen, I don't know. This would be so cute to fussy cut and this to fussy cut. Yeah, these to fussy cut, these to fussy cut. Is there a glare? I hope not. No, good. Look at him. He's looking fancy. I know you can't see the whole thing, but I'm sorry. Um, I also would like to figure out my journaling style. You would think I would know my journaling style by now <laughs> that I've been doing this for so many years, but yeah, and now... Um, I, d I don't know my journaling style. I'm just like, I'm lost. Okay. I just, I, in the crafty department, okay. <laughs> in the crafty department, I just feel lost. Um, yeah, I need to find my way back. So, um, yeah, when that happens, you guys will be the first to know, like, this is so cute, right? All this food looks yummy. Um, I don't know. It's it's a cute little book. Okay. Yeah. Cute little book. Like that. So cute. Right? This. So cute. Yeah. A lot of different things to fussy cut. Okay. Let's get to the Happy Meal because this is going to brighten my day. So, this is from an Instagram friend. Ruth. And I haven't opened it. I just opened it because I, I opened it, but I haven't gone through it. I opened it um, because I didn't know who it was from. <laughs> you know how some people have different... Oh my goodness gracious. Some people have different um, names, you know, for their Instagram than they do for um, like their real name. You know what I mean? So I had to dig in there and find this, which is a lovely, lovely letter and sweet Ruth. If you are watching, um, I really, really appreciate this so much. Um, yeah, I, I really want to send out happy mail to brighten somebody else's day as well, as much as it brightens my day, right? Um, she has a lovely letter in here, which I did read and I hope I hope you're on the mend, sweetie, and I hope you're feeling better real soon. Um, and she does a lot of collage, so I will try to link her Instagram below. Uh, it's Gloomy Ruthie, and I'll try to link it below. I will link it below. Look at that cute washi. So we're just going to dig right in and see, see what this is all about. 
and I need to put, oh, I'll put her card in, oh my word. Look at all of this yumminess. Look at that pretty bag. I love this. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. <gasps> look at those cards. Those are so cute. Those are like, you know, vintage. Oh my gosh. This just makes me want to bust out all my Christmas stuff and, and make something. Oh, this is, this. see, this is inspiring. When in doubt, dance it out. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love that. I'm going to put that in my November book. I might. I don't know. It speaks November to me. Oh, that's cute. Crazy Eights card game. Oh, my goodness. With some a washi sample. Fun. And look at these. These are like flat back gems, right? I hope I'm in frame. Very cute. Oh, look at these. They're, I don't know what they are. Clay, perhaps? They're beads. Oh, how fun. Okay. I might have to put these on the side of my my journal, my Thursday journal. Thursday journal. No, my November journal. Fun. Fun. Oh, my goodness. Look. Oh, fix it and forget it. Look at that. They're like recipe cards. How fun. Those are super fun. Oh, pieces of ledger or check. Those are interesting. Look at that. That's fun. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Oh, and look at these. Oh, he has made everything beautiful in its time. How beautiful is that, huh? Little note cards that, you know, you can use as journaling spots and they have their faith based. So beautiful. Notice the beauty in the tiniest details. That's so pretty. That's what I need to do. <laughs> oh, there's another one of those, like ledger, they're ledger something important. This book should accompany all transactions. Very cool. Oh, look at those, like little stickers, cute. Meal plan, month at a glance, to-do list, priority, goals, today. Yeah, that's fun. That, oops, I need to put those in my, in my sticker stash. Oh, that's a fun envelope, huh? An airmail envelope. Oh, it's, oh my gosh, I love these things. You know, we used to get these, like, when we were at camp or whatever, because all you had to do is write, write what you wanted, and then you would seal it, right? And then you would put your stamp on it and just send it. How fun. Your other half, my other half. That's so cute. Oh, It's like a little love note. Cute. Very nice. Thank you so much. That is so fun. Oh, what is this? I'm going to save this wrapping paper. Yes, I am. Because it can definitely go into a journal or something. And try it. Sorry, guys. Yes, I'm one of those people. Right? Don't you hate that? You're just like, rip it open. Just tear it open. I can't. I can't do it. No, I cannot. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. Let me see if I... Okay. See, I could take it out this way. Okay. And then save this. Oh. Look how beautiful. Oh, my goodness. This might... Is this a an envelope? Maybe it's an envelope journal. Oh, my gosh. You know what? Guess what, sweetie? I might just end up using, I might just use this. Yes, I might use this for my December journal. Wouldn't that be fun? Because it's got plenty of space to write stuff, you know, for me. Because, I mean, really, basically, nothing happens, right, in my life right now. With exception to, oh my word, I love that. A crocheted starched star. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. And these little tags, like, oh my gosh. Ruth, Ruthie, thank you. You have no idea how, how happy this makes me because 
this I can handle. I think I can handle this. I really do. And like if we do something where, you know, I have something else, then I'll just tip it in or something, you know? I'll just tip it in. Look. This is so cute. Okay. Nice. Oh. Love that. Journaling spot. Journaling spot. Picture. Whatever. <gasps> Oh, I'm definitely, this is what I'm using for my December. Yes. And then I, oh, I used to have this paper. And then, like I said, I can do whatever. I think what I might end up doing is just like stamping the date on, perhaps. Because then I won't have, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Like, let's just say. This is on like, you know, the 10th, right, of December. I can just stamp the 10th or just simply write it for crying out loud, right? And then do my journaling on here. I mean, I know it's bumpy, but I can handle it, you know? And then like, let's just say this day right here, like, you know, we went and looked at a house. I can write about our day here and stick a picture of the house on here. And, and Bob is your uncle, okay? Yeah. I love, that's beautiful right there. That is so beautiful. It's so vintagey. Oh my goodness gracious. You just, girl, you definitely made my day. And this is an envelope journal, by the way. She made this out of envelopes. Isn't that fun? That is really fun. Huh. And these are just attached at the top. I love that. Because again, if I have more to say, right? Then I can lift this up and paste something here, or put pictures here, or whatevs, right? Oh, I love this. Yeah. Yep. I'm definitely, is this a pocket? No. Okay. I'm definitely going to use this for, and this is on here. That's fine. Um, for my, look at that. Look at that. So cute. Oh my gosh. Yes. I'm going to be using this for my December journal. Yes, I am. I can either write right over top of this. I can staple something in if I need more room, whatevs, you know. I love this. Okay. One, two, let's see. Three, four. See, on the pages like this, I might have to do multiple days, which is perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so I need like almost double, which is no big deal because like I said, I could easily put, you know, like, I don't know, like the 17th on this day, the 18th right here, the 19th right here. You know what I mean? Like, I think this is going to take a lot of pressure off me, guys. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh, I love these notepads. Girl, you, you know my heart. These wonderful notepads. Yes. And this, how cute is that? Oh, my gosh. I really, I mean, I have to be honest with you. I kind of dreaded getting out all of my holiday stuff because um, I have it in my closet and it's literally like mm, four feet tall, a tower of bins, right? And I just didn't want to get that out. See, like on this, I could easily do like three days worth right here. You know, like I could do a day here, write about it, whatever. I could add more tags in here per day, you know? Oh, I love this. Thank you so much. This is so dang thoughtful. Look at that cute card. Oh my goodness. And these, you know, like I can write on here. Like I said, it's not my, it's like doctor's appointment, scan, you know, that's our life right now. So, um, and then look at that. Merry Christmas. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this so, so much. Oh, another idea to put in the old noggin is make an envelope journal. I mean, how fun is this? 
I love it. And I love that you only attach these up here. I really hope I've been in frame this whole time. Okay. Yeah, I love that you've attached those just at the top because I can go in and add more stuff if I want to or put a picture back here or whatever, you know, whatevs. Oh, I love this so much. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I love this. And I will definitely, you know, put a title on here, December 2023. And this is what I'm going to use. I surely am. Yep. Thank you. Oh my God. I love that. I love it. Okay. So here is a huge, um, oh, isn't that fun? Larkspur. Huh. Huh. It's like a game thing. That's cute. Oh, it's bridge, I guess. Hmm. That's going to go my in my um, vintage stuff. Here's some pretty little clusters for fall. Oh man, and I was just saying, like I hardly have any fall stuff. I just don't. I don't know why, not really sure, but I just don't. Aren't those cute little cards? Oysters, <laughs> so cute. I've never seen this. Oh, it's a cranium game. Okay, we used to have cranium for the kids when they were little. And look at that pretty little cluster. How pretty. I love these. Thank you. And then here's another little package. Oh, my heavens to Betsy. This is like one of those pockets that is ever growing. <laughs> oh, my heavens. Oh, my goodness. So fun. Yes, I could put that in the Christmas. Oh, my gosh. I love it dentist, these, um, Coco Daisy, uh, you know, I could probably even use these in my Christmas book because it's got all the days of the week, right? Hmm. There's an idea because they're nice and small. Okay. All right. Nice. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I love postcards and you know what? I can very rarely find them. Delaware, Delaware, Jerusalem. Oh, wow. <gasps> and it's written on. Oh, my heavens. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Rabbi. It's to Rabbi and Mrs. Jacob Grossman. Oh, my goodness. In New York. Oh. <gasps> Wow. I'll have to read that. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. And from Jerusalem. Yes. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. And then this opens. <gasps> Look at that. That's like a, it's a lace piece with a rose. Oh, how pretty. And then more cards and more beautiful little doodads. Oh, how fun. Thank you so much. That's going to go, where did I, oh, I thought I had a pile. Oh, Merry Christmas. That goes in the book. Look at those pretty things. Oh, ornaments. Those, this goes in the book. Yeah. How fun. All of this is Christmas related. Oh, I love this. Thank you so much. And again, I don't have to dig out all my Christmas stuff. <gasps> Oh, I love this so much. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. You have, literally, you have no idea because, you know, as I said, I was, I'm seriously thinking of how, what, okay, what's happening here? <gasps> what, what's happening? Okay, maybe, does this come out this way? Okay. Does this come out? Yes. Okay. So that's an interesting little thing. See? Wow. Is that made out of one or two pieces of paper? No, like one piece of paper, perhaps? I'm not sure. Maybe two, but it's like a little wallet thing. That That's adorable. Thank you. This is gorgeous ribbon. Oh, my heavens. That's beautiful. That would look stunning. Stunning on the spine of a journal. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And this, I do love these types of um, ribbons. 
right? They have metal in them. If there's a way that I could, oh, it's doubled. Huh. I don't know if this whole thing is metal. It might be, I don't know. Sometimes they have just the littlest piece of metal in them. <gasps> there it is. And then you pull those out and then you've got like, you know, ribbon that doesn't fold or bend, you know? Thank you. <gasps> oh, a data pass. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Oh, this is awesome. That is so cool. I love that. I've never seen anything like it. I love it. Thank you so, so much. Oh, and these notepad papers. I love these so much. Thank you. Oh, look. Little vintage um, flashcards and more Christmas. Oh my gosh, I love it. Thank you so, so much. Oh my heavens. <gasps> Japanese rice paper. Look at that. Cool air. We had some cool air this morning, let me just tell you. Yes, we did. I'll have to put that on today's page, maybe. <laughs> and then this, look how cute that is. It's like a little um, nut about nuts about fall. It's a little pocket. That's adorable. That's so cute. Japanese rice paper napkins. What? I've never heard of such a thing. I don't want to ruin it, so I'm going to be delicate. But these are simply gorgeous. Oh my word. Look, I've never seen such a thing. Wow. Oh my gosh. Again, these napkins are floating in my brain to use different projects. I, get, I really would like to make some um, index cards that are postcards, you know, and send them in the mail. I would really like to do that very soon. These are just simply stunning. These are beautiful. Oh, <gasps> that's so pretty. Oh, I love that. These feel interesting too. How fun. Thank you so, so much for sharing with me. These are very, they feel very interesting. Wow. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Happy time book to color. Oh, oh, some fussy cut images and oh, other images. Look at that. Oh, these are great. Oh my goodness. Way to go. This is milk chocolate. Oh, this must be like a chocolate bar. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. That's so fun. Thank you. Uh, like a piece of tissue paper, Christmas tissue paper. That's fun. That's going to go with Christmas. Oh, isn't, isn't he beautiful? And flamingos. Oh, that would go great on a pink page. Let me just tell you. And paradise, make it yours. Oh, so unbelievably thoughtful. Thank you so much, Ruth. Oh my goodness. I cannot thank you enough. I really can't. You just, you made my day and I cannot, I just cannot tell you how excited I am to use, this goes over here, this book because the decision's been made. Folks, the decision's been made. I am using, I'm going to be using this for my December journal this year. Oh my goodness. I love it. I absolutely love it. I might even decide to poke a hole through here to put a dangle on it. Yes. I love this so much. And I'm going to write on here made, you know, made by Ruthie. I love it. Mmm. I'm so excited now for December. Whereas before, when I first started this video, I was like, how am I going to tell my, my friends that, you know, I'm not, I'm just not into it anymore, <laughs> basically. But with this, oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. So thank you. Thank you so much again. Oh my word. I, I just can't thank you enough. 
I cannot thank you enough and I cannot wait to use this for my journal for the year. <gasps> oh, I'm excited. Okay, so thank you so much for spending your time with me. I really, really appreciate it. I know time is precious. Trust me, I know. And I am just so grateful that you choose to spend your time with me. It means the world to me. It means the world to me. Um, and I hope you all have a great rest of your week. And yeah, a wonderful rest of your day. And I will talk at you all real soon, I hope. I hope. Fingers crossed. I hope. Bye for now.